The opioid epidemic is claiming lives all across the country. It is also creating a dangerous hazard in one Albuquerque neighborhood. News 13's Aaron Drawhorn shows us their solution to the syringe problem. They're out here? They're out here. They're here on the fence. Joanne Landry is minister of Interfaith Bible Church and president of the Trumbull Village Neighborhood Association. Needles have become a common sight in the community she cares about, and now two of these containers for syringe disposal are up on a fence. We do have a lot of homeless that do hang out here in our community, and I, I do believe um, there's a lot of them that use the intravenous drugs, heroin and methamphetamine, along with diabetics. Tired of seeing used syringes all over the ground in this neighborhood, the church came up with an idea. It's simply an old kitty litter container designed to stop someone from stepping on danger. We just wanted to establish and create a container where we could uh, have a safe place where they could go. The first one went up six weeks ago and people are using them. We count, counsel and love them, uh, non-judgmental. The neighborhood has a lot of strengths. The people are strengths. Uh, there's a lot of assets here. But there are challenges. Enrique Cardiel understands the need for the needle containers. People may, you know, step on them accidentally. Children could play with them. I don't see them daily, but I, do, I have seen them. This is Landry's part to help her neighbors, even if they're struggling with powerful addictions. And it breaks our hearts because they are stuck big time. Aaron Drawhorn, KRQE News 13. Now we checked with the city of Albuquerque, and they will not pick up those needle disposal boxes on location but they have sent Pastor Landry a list of official syringe collection sites where she can drop off those containers.